Senator McCain did, uh, he, he had wanted to stick around, but then his people who were with him, his entourage, said he had to go. I think he's, he's on Nickelodeon now or something, but <laughs> he's off. But our th I'm so thrilled that he was able to stop by. Uh, you know, my next guest from the television show, Joan of Arcadia, next week. You can see her in the new movie, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Please welcome Amber Tamblyn. <laughs> You look great. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. I cut off all my hair. Oh, you did? Yeah, about eight inches. Eight inches? That's yeah. huge. I know, a lot. I had to go. I was done with it. So that's a bold decision. You just decided, that's it, just get rid of it. I yeah, to... and I decided, actually, I was thinking about maybe taking pictures of it in different cities and call it, like, the sisterhood of the traveling hair and then right, sell right, it on eBay. Right, right, right. I don't know. It on eBay. Something. It would be something different. But... Yeah, no, eBay, that's not a good place for celebrity <laughs> hair, I don't think. Really? They have celebrity gum. Why not? They, it might work. I've tried to sell all kinds of stuff. Nobody wants it. Nobody Aww, wants, yeah. I try. I'm, I'm, I'm on eBay. Like, anybody want Conan's underwear? <laughs> <laughs> no! Um, <laughs> now, you were kind of... Uh, it's, this struck me as odd, because I was reading up about you today, and you, you have such a nice, sort of innocent demeanor, and then I, I'm reading about you, and you were kind of wild when you were uh, a child. Is that true? It is true, yes. Rebellious? Uh, I once, actually, my most famous story that I'm known for with my family and friends is um, eating a bunch of baking soda when I was like six years old and convincing neighbors that I'd been bitten by a dog and was rabid. You mean because you eat the baking soda and foam yeah, comes and out your you, mouth? Yeah, and you know, you drink some water and it comes out and you kind of... <sighs> That's a good way to get shot, I would think. <laughs> Not by my neighbors. They would actually, like, freak out and then I'd be like, oh, haha, it's funny. And it really was. <laughs> it was really horrible. And people were just really mad, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think mad, but they definitely think that I'm sick in the head. So yeah, I don't even know. That's not good for you, I would think, to eat a lot of baking soda. No, it's not. I used to actually eat Parmesan cheese when I was little out of the craft bottle, and um, my lips would swell up from eating it. Right. But putting random substances, it's not good. Well, I would think cheese is much safer. You're supposed to eat cheese. <laughs> the baking soda? Cheese is allowed. The baking soda, I think, would be the problem. What else did you do? Did you ever commit any sort of crimes or anything as a child? Uh, actually, uh, hmm. Yeah, I did. I did, actually. I stole my parents' car when I was, I think, like 13 years old. Uh, it's a funny 13? little story. Really? Well, That's pretty gutsy. This is what happened. My parents went away for a vacation, and um, they left the car with my neighbor, who was taking care of me. And I didn't really understand that she was allowed to drive the car, so I was upset about it. And I thought I would teach her a lesson by uh, taking the car and driving around the block and hiding it from her. So you're and of course, I didn't get it on the block. I hit a car. Well, you're 13 years old, and you're yeah. whipping around, yeah. and there's foam coming out your mouth. Yeah. Uh, it gives a good, a good visual image as I would to what think I was so, like. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you're, uh, you're, you're young, you're single. Um, I, I heard that you like guys with beards. Is that true? You like it? You're attracted to a man with a beard. Yes, that is true. Um, I do like a little facial hair. I think it's sexy. Now, let me ask you something. There's this thing that's happening that you see a lot, like on the guy on Desperate Housewives, where they have that a little bit of stubble. <laughs> and then suddenly it's gone. And then it's like, yeah, like exactly. What is that all about? I don't really know. It looks weird. It's like Wolverine or something. There's like something missing, like right. some part of their right. face. I'm I just curious. Know. I can't grow facial hair, so I'm just curious. <laughs> I need testosterone shots. But you uh, have the cute red hair. Hair. It makes exactly. You Sometimes I cut this off and I paste it here. Oh, that's cute. And then I look like hill folk. Uh, <laughs> Get a banjo. Exactly. Good. It's all. It's all good. <laughs> but uh, so you like a guy with a beard? What about yeah, like a I, giant, like ZZ Top I, I crazy think, yeah. beard? I think I, I'm, I'm either way. I don't know how I feel about like the missing uh, hair. That that is kind of weird now right, that you mention right. that. You always wonder where did Unless it go? Unless it becomes maybe it's like a fashion statement and people, someone popular who have that will actually start, you know, a trend of like shaving like weird circles in your face or something. But right, right. I, I'm good with like a giant beard. I'm, I'm good with mustaches. I just think they're cute. Mustache. How about big waxed mustaches yes. that are... I love that. People are like, I'm here for my date. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems creepy to me. Uh, sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. This That's is, right. Now, let's talk about this because... And I could be completely wrong, but when you hear that title, admit it, it does sound like, okay, this is a movie for women or for girls. This isn't a movie for guys. What would, what would you say to get guys to watch Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants? I would probably tell uh, men that this is a film about four young, sexy, hot women all sharing one pair of pants. Does that work? Yeah, well, you I... see that? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. The guys... When you said four young, hot, sexy women, after that, they're all on board anyway. <laughs> Reading quietly in the library, whatever, I don't care! <laughs> they sound hot. <laughs> No, it's good. It's no, good. No, I think I, I would actually dare any man to go into this film and not cry. I would pay you $100 and a date with me, if that was the case. Oh, you heard it here. Ah. 
The Star Wars nerds are getting rowdy over here. <laughs> couldn't do it. <laughs> All right, we have a clip here from Sisterhood of the uh, Traveling Pants. Yes. What do we need to know for this clip? Um, this clip is basically um, Tibby uh, at the Wallman's place where she works, and she's very a uh, disgruntled employee. So she's um, uh, putting stickers on things in Wallman's. It's very exciting. That was <laughs> good selling. Yes. Uh, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, take a look at this clip. You're a real natural with that thing. Took me weeks before I got the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, well, we all have our special talents. Tibby! I thought I made it perfectly clear that employee headsets are to be worn at all times. Don't make me mention it again. There's a special on you. You can be purchased. Yes. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants opens uh, June 1st. Amber Tamblin, thank you so much thank for being so here. Much. Yeah, yeah, we'll thank see you next time. Alkaline Trio is coming up. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, everybody. Uh, fine show tonight, coming up tomorrow night from the new movie, The Longest Yard. Our friend Adam Sandler is going to be here. And extreme ping pong champion. If you're going to talk to a ping pong champion, talk to an extreme ping pong champion. Barney Reed will be here. We'll take a break when we come back. Alkaline Trio, stick around. <laughs> Well, that's our show, everybody. I do want to thank all my guests. Tune for the last call with Carson Daly in L.A. Bye-bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Yeah.